Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, please gather up to the speaker's corner. I will give you some interesting insights to a new concept related to Alpha Laval high-speed separators. We will be talking about fuel cleaning. And fuel cleaning can be an adaptive process which will help you to save energy and to secure your engines. My name is Eric, Eric van Alphen, and I will walk you through this speaker's corner session. I start with a question. Can your fuel cleaning be optimized in order to save 10%? Question mark. What you have to do is to know about the cat fines. I think everyone here know what cat fines are. I hope so. I will give you a small introduction about it. They are creating the wear and tear of your engines. They are the small particles, diamond hard, which you have to fight. The reason why we have high speed separators and filtration. Energy savings. If you can optimize your process, it's most likely that you also can save energy. These two factors you have to consider when optimizing the fuel cleaning process. Okay, what you see in the middle is a huge separator. It's supposed to be a little bit smaller, so you can see the complete fuel line process. The fuel line process includes the bunker tank, pumping, heating, an alpha laval separator, of course, they tank pumps in a fuel conditioning module. If you want to optimize this, there are different factors you should put into the equation. What about the engine load? The engine load often is slow steaming nowadays. You can measure the engine load based on different uh, parameters. Perhaps the level in the day tank, perhaps the flow in one of the pumps, perhaps some output signals from the engine control system. What if you can optimize your process based on the engine load? And or the actual levels of cat fines now, today, it's possible to measure levels of cat fines in the process. We are talking about real-time measurements, something totally new. Companies like NanoNude has a uh, product called CatGuard, and they have the possibility, your opportunity, to measure at different points in this fuel treatment line. Perhaps you want to take a sample from the day tank, or from the bunker tank, or before the separate separator or after the separator and what if you can control the process based on this input what to control temperature we are now looking into high temperature separation it's a rather interesting opportunity if you go up above today's 98 degree you can drastically lower the viscosity and in that way improve the separation to get rid of these small cat fines, up to 50%. Yes, to take the heat up to 110 degrees. We know that today the temperatures can be lower than 98 degrees due to old installation or even bad installations. Another thing to control in this equation is the flow control. If your engine is on 25%, why should this fuel treatment line be operating 100%. Take down the flow to 50 or even 25%, which will help you to improve the cat fine separation. Optimized separation. Cat fines, first of all, up to 80% of the cylinder damages today are due to cat fines. This is a very big picture, but in actual life, we're talking about micrometers from size 10 and upwards. And these ones are diamond hard, scratching the liners. And did you know that today's low sulfur fuel have higher levels of cat fines? That's a problem we are facing. 
typical repair costs. Some guesstimates. You can judge yourself. What if you have off hire? That will cost a lot. Your main engine is out. Sometimes due to cat fine, super high levels. You have to be able to avoid this. The consequences are huge. OK, we have done a case study together with MIN, Nano Nord, and DMV. I, did, I forgot to put in DMV and Alpha Laval. Together, we have produced a paper summarizing what I'm talking about today. We presented it at the CMAC conference in Shanghai this month. And in summary, we look in how to optimize the process in order to save you risk and money. And there's some breakthrough results. Yes, to look at engine load compared to fuel line load. It can be adjusted. No need to go 100% on the separator if you only have 25 on the engine. And the actual levels of cat fines. Today it's possible to me measure the cat fine levels. So you can vary the uh, flow through the separator between 25 up to 100%. And we are now looking into the possibility to increase the temperature up to 110% in this concept. Reduce your repair cost. Maximum cat fine removal will help you to take down wear and tear cost. Reduce your operational cost. If you have wear and tear, you will have bad combustion. Avoid that, please. That will help your bottom line. Alpha Laval separators, less fuel losses. And if you vary the pumps, you will have lower power consumption. Every kilowatt is important here. So in summary, I asked you the question, can fuel cleaning be optimized in order to save you 10%? I say, no. You can save much more and minimize your risk. The title of the paper we presented together with DMV, MIN, and Nano Nord is onboard fuel oil, oil cleaning. It's an ever neglected process. I think it's time today for you to start to discuss with us and we to start to discuss with you about what we can do together in order to optimize, optimize this very essential process. By this introduction, I say thank you very much. I look forward to meet you in the stand and don't be afraid to talk with any of our colleagues. Thank you very much.